Some burn wood, others get out their scythes, others still just say screw it and run it over. Hello folks, it's Kodiak here, back for another quick Last Oasis video, and today we'll be talking about that black powdery substance we just can't get enough of, ash. At the beginning, we thought it was worthless and sold it by the boatload. Little did we know that ash is one of the most valuable resources in the game. Not because it's sold for a decent amount, but because it's the essential item required to get clay. Clay is the key ingredient used to create ceramic shards. Get a couple furnaces going, pop in some charcoal or liquid fuel, and you're ready to go. But without the ash, none of this is possible. For many of us, ash was the byproduct of burning wood in a fireplace. But what if I told you there was an easier way to collect it, and even still, an easier way to collect it after that? Well, the truth is, there is. And it's no secret, you just need to know where to look. But before you go to Resource Farm, you'll want to make sure you have a few scythes with you, or at least a couple sickles. The beauty of ash farming is that you can do it discreetly. Ash doesn't weigh a whole lot, and the lower profile you can make yourself, the better, especially on hard maps, which is exactly where we're headed. To find this magical ash spot, head to the center of any hard map, the area covered in black, well, ash. You may have noticed in passing that all the bushes and trees in this area have been burned up, which probably made you drive on by. But hop on down off your walker, take out your scythe, and start whacking away at all those burnt up bushes. To be honest, I felt like an idiot, running dozens of fires trying to get ash when the secret to its collection was just a stone's throw away. With this method, you could easily collect two to 3,000 in under 30 minutes. But wait, it gets better. If we bring a quality walker into the picture, the process gets even easier. For this example, we'll be using a quality 45 toboggan, but if you're not at that point yet, don't worry, as long as you can stack 10 foraging modules onto your walker, you'll be fine. A simple way to do this is to level up your walker using the float upgrade system combined with a level 5 walker. If you're not at this point in the game yet and quality materials are still beyond your reach, stick with the site. Loading up a walker with 10 foraging modules allows you to collect any item you would normally get with a scythe just by running over it with your walker. It's a game changer, especially when considering how much ash you need to keep your excavators running. However, there is one thing you need to watch out for, and that's the crab, or the beetle, or whatever you call that big ass thing roaming around the map destroying walkers. Most hard maps will have a crab roaming around the center of the map, and if you bring a toboggan on like we did, you're a massive target, so better to travel light like I do with a spider and a couple of chests. Hopefully this video helps set you on the right path for farming ash, and if you want more Last Oasis videos in your feed, don't forget to subscribe. Also, Legion Gaming's Last Oasis community on Discord just hit over 300 members, so if you'd like to join us as we prepare for a PvE-focused private server, feel free to click that link below and join us. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legion Gaming, thanks for watching, and play on.